All right, Michael, what are we doing today? Well, today, we sort of, the other day, we sort of figured out our test fitting of where everything needs to go. Now today, we're actually gonna to start to actually bolt stuff on properly so we can actually get a more of an idea of, firstly, things that we need to order to make this work, things that we forgot to order in the initial order that we placed, and just to make sure that our clearances and everything are correct. So the biggest issue and the most custom thing that we're obviously doing in this whole build is that plenum chamber right here, which at the moment is only just sitting there. Oh, it smells like E85. <laughs> Corn juice. So today we're gonna have a crack at actually bolting this on for the first time. So it means we're gonna take that manifold off, the bottom half of it, to be able to bolt this in because now the bolt's actually bolted in from underneath and we need to modify that slightly. Mm -hmm. And just basically have a crack at neatening up the engine bay. Nathan wants to go full OCD and clean a few things up. He does, don't roll your eyes, I know you do. I don't, I just, there's things that don't need to be there anymore. Like, you know, the battery tray can be cut out, catch can's got to be moved now, uh, the accelerator cable and the cruise control can go, because that's changing. Yep. You know, just, just neaten up and make things a little easier. We want to redesign the tray for our coil packs as well. We don't want to put them up the top now. Yeah, they, they live under there, and we're talking about whether we try and put them in here or whether it's going to make it messier. We just basically we want to assess how we're going to do it. We thought we were going to put them up here and run them in like, like a lot of people do in line like that. But we already have a tray made up. We already have a wiring harness made up, which works. So for simplicity reasons, we're just going to have a look at it and see if we can figure out an easy way of doing it rather than redesigning the wheel, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first things first. I'm the realist. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Secondly, uh, I reckon we just start stripping some things off that we don't need to see in here and look at getting that intake manifold off. All right, this is coming off because it's so ugly, but we just did it because we had no heat shield over the dump pipe and it was melting everything. What's the bet we pull this off, we take it to the go get you and Jake's like, hey, where'd that heat shield go? You're gonna want that. <laughs> maybe hey, we'll... yeah, you know, uh, we've... I just melted all those wires that sit <laughs> up at the back there. <laughs> maybe we should put that in the boot. Yeah, maybe I should just keep it and leave those nuts heads there, eh? Yeah. How much better it looks without it. It does I'll tell you what, I really want to rip the engine out and get rid of this stupid, this insulation the insulation it shits me to tears no it'll be fine because when it catches fire it'll get rid of it quickly for us oh true just go yeah <laughs> hello Loki. yeah i can feel him sniffing me leg what are you doing oh we can get rid of the cruise control unit <laughs> i'm not sad <laughs> you will be when we're driving all the way from portland to Madura. <laughs> it's too hard to modify it to make it go around the front i reckon i just can't bother looking into it just piss it off. If Nathan had his way, there'd be no aircon, there'd be no cruise control, but I'm not letting him give up aircon. I just like the simplest things, the simpler things, you know. All right, so we're pulling the trans cooler out, the one that, it was an aftermarket one that was ran to the front in front of the radiator. Um, the reason why we're pulling it out is because we, oh God, there's a lot of fluid in here. Did you get a bucket? No, I thought there wasn't gonna be that much. I was wrong. I was so wrong. We're pulling this out only because what we're gonna do is actually run one underneath the car. I don't know, underneath the passenger or something? Yeah, right? underneath the passenger side with a fan on it. And a scoop and stuff like that. And a right. temp sensor so we can keep an eye on it. Yeah, because, yeah, this wasn't really up to the task. And now that we've got the highest stall and everything in it, we want to make sure that we got a good one. So I'll pull that out and I'm going to pull the hard lines out, uh, get that out of the way, and then I'm get started on getting the intake manifold off. This rag is the end of its life now. Well, let's crack open the new bag. <gasps> no, let me do it. That's always fun to cut open those new ones. Why? Just wait. Everyone knows the new feeling of uh, fresh bag of rags. <laughs> We've needed a bag of rags, but I can't even remember how long now. Oh my God, I know. Oh, fresh ones. I Freshly they... washed from the op shop. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they've been washed, otherwise you should put your nose into a lot of old underwear. <laughs> nah, there's no underwear in here. I love rags. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm doing laundry day. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this can come off because we're not using either of this now because the accelerator cable now has to move to the front. <laughs> You've opened up a can of worms. <laughs> the next shot will be, all right, so we're leaving the cruise control in. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's because you distracted me with your bloody... Bag of rags? Bag of rags. Bag of rags. And accelerator cable, I had to separate this. Oh, oh look I'm how... Itchy tomorrow. 
That's how hot. That's because it was sitting on the turbo. Yeah, like literally. There's so many good things we're getting out of doing all this. Look at that. It's melted. Has it? Yeah, look. Oh, wow. That's not good, is it? No. I wonder if it can come apart. <laughs> Woo. What do you got there? This is the cruise control unit. It's huge, isn't it? That's, look how bulky it is. All right, keep going. That much. Yeah, I'll put fuel everywhere. We bought this ages ago. We had no purpose for it. Now we found a purpose. We found a very small purpose. This needs to be more heat shielded. And I've heard that the gold adds like 10. What he means is- 10,000 degrees. It looks cooler. We're gonna gold tape it. it Michael's like... idea. Oh yeah. Hear them screaming behind their screens. That needs to be gold. <laughs> -hoo -hoo -hoo. It really does feel like we're stripping the whole engine. Like all that work that we did is now being pulled apart. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a nightmare, Nate. Eh? It bloody does. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you feeling now, huh? We should know that yesterday we pulled out the engine on my panel van. And he was laughing at me all day. How are you feeling now, Nate? Eh? <laughs> Well, the loom's off now. How scary is that? And this is finally out. Well, that was easy. So, if you come in here, here's our core pack, which it actually looks fine. Has held up <laughs> pretty well, to be honest. Like, maybe we could just leave it. Especially because that was a pain in the ass of a wiring loom to make up. And at least it looks neat with the wiring with it hidden, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at him, he's so happy. So shiny. It's gonna look sick. I hate it if it turns black. <laughs> <laughs> it just melts. All right, scratch it up. <laughs> <sighs> oh, the god looks crap, actually. Are you serious? <laughs> it needs some black in it, I reckon. It's protect. It's not for looks. It's oh for yeah, it's not for looks. It's for heat protection. All right, people. Function over form. Yeah. No. Function over form, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Had to rethink that. <laughs> Very gold. <laughs> What'd you expect? Once the intake pipe is there, you'll, it'll cover it. Yeah, I reckon once the intake pipe and everything goes on it, it'll look yeah. alright. It's just really in your face. You don't love it, do you? No, I do. Mm, he doesn't love it. No, I do like it. He will, I reckon. He'll come around to it. Now, once the intake pipe's on, you know, it's going to be a bit of subtle gold down there. People are going to be like, oh shit, is that a Colombian chain? <laughs> 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 Alright, Nathan's got his gold tape in. <laughs> so now, I need to make this... Marry that. Marry that, yeah. No, wrong way, other way. <laughs> no, that's the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had you. <laughs> this has to go onto that. But the problem that we have at the minute is there's threads in this and there needs to be no threads in that because the bolts need to now come from below. So we can use the original Allen key bolts. I've just got to go drill out a million holes. Well, it's not that many. <laughs> there's a million. There's a lot, yeah. There's a million. So I'm going to start doing that while Nathan is. Um, I'm going to start cutting the battery tray out. Yeah. That way I can look at getting that side back together. Because once I cut that out, I can look at doing the intercooler piping a little bit easier. And then I might look at doing the catch can bottle in the corner. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a plan, Stan. There is so much to do. Let's go. Alright, so there's drilled out. Now the fun part. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to look like a real thing now, isn't it? Damn. Looks good, though. Hmm. It's going to work. Fits up nicely. There we go. Done. Get the throttle, throttle body in the air, then. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
That tray is really in there. <laughs> Designed older battery, so yeah. I had to cut a lot more to get it out. It's a lot more to just cut the battery tray out than is what I thought. <laughs> She's really in there. So I've actually ended up having to get rid of everything there. And now I've ended up saying I'm gonna move all the relays. So I've really opened the can of worms on my side. Yeah. He was like, oh, I'll be done soon. I'll come help you shortly. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, so I'm uh, bitten off a little bit more I can chew. <laughs> so I have a lot to do. So yeah. what are you moving and what are you keeping there? What's your plan? Are you gonna I don't know yet. I just want to freaking get the battery tray out. <laughs> That's a good sound. Well, the battery tray is no more. You did good, my sir. I didn't use you for a very long time. You were very useless to me. You were just hanging around doing nothing. Just hanging around doing nothing. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how to fix this. <laughs> well, I don't even want to look at this side. Look at all the freaking wire <laughs> shit on this side. <laughs> it's no better. It's really no better, isn't it? No, but I'm going to sit the intake manifold on now, so that's a fun job. Oh my god. Looks heaps better than the leads. Can we just go like Bluetooth spark leads? Spark plug leads? How about we go Bluetooth everything? It just looks good with nothing in there. Yeah. This will be a good test to see whether we can actually take the manifold off with this still attached to. Mm, that's true. Which we're going to have to because you can't... You can't get to it. can't get to it anyway, so it has to work this way. Yep. Okay. Yeah, basically we're out where we were this morning. <laughs> Except now I can do that, it doesn't fall off. This AC line we certainly have to do something about. What we're gonna do is see if we can get a shortened one, because see how long that is and it runs like that. We want to see if we can get a short one that'll just go bloop, down there and boop into there, hopefully. But now we need the throttle body on it, because I know we've got to modify this slightly. We're going to run our throttle body upside down, by the looks of it. And it's going to sit right there, which means we have to make a bracket out here for the accelerator cable to come around to. But this here is no longer used, so I'm going to drill and tap that out and put just a plug in that now. Do you reckon I can just pull it out? It should just pull out. I'd say that's just wedged in there. Want to give it a go? Yeah. That needs to come off. So I'm going to cut it off so I can put this in. I found my tap. It's going to fit. So hopefully this works. I couldn't pull it out. I tried pulling it out, it wouldn't come. <laughs> We'll cut it and we'll drill it out, I reckon. Really hope we don't need this. Oh, it's good, it's brass. Yeah. That's your slipping, see? Hey! <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would happen. Put a hold of that loose with. This is gonna look professional. 10 mil. And I need to be 12. I've never done NPT fittings before, so I don't know what size hole you're supposed to drill out to. So we're about to find out together. 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 Together, we're gonna yeah. tap some fun. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there because because it's tapered. I'm assuming you don't want to go all the way through, or else it'll be too big, won't it? We'll see if it fits. If I need to go deeper, I'll go deeper. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> How does it look? Oh, right. damn! Damn, son. This pogo stick. Is the perfect fitting Allen key for all the things that we're doing today. <laughs> all right, so I need to go further with the, with the tap. tap, but that's gonna work. Leave it with me, and I'll get it done. Getting there? Getting there. Found a glimmer of hope. What's that? I'm getting there. You're I'm getting slowly there? cleaning it up. It's taking its time, and I've figured out what I'm gonna do now. It's just taking its time. It's just all the spot welded brackets. Like, I don't want to drill into the frame, so. I'm trying to just slowly dig it away so then I can hopefully get the angle grinder down and just slip the spot weld. It's 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 looking good now. I'm having 
You good time? I'm feeling a bit better now. I'm actually enjoying, <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it. So next, I need to get a color matched can to paint all this. So I'll give this a clean once I'm done and then I'm probably gonna leave it here. Goodbye. Goodbye. I need to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse this, this plate, because it has all the, you know, the nuts on the back to mount the overflow, overflow bottle. You know, that mounts some relays. The relays all mount behind this. But what I am gonna do is sheet it over the face of it so then it's, it's smooth. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's smooth. And then I'll just weld it in at the bottom and it'll be fine because it's gonna be mounted at the top there. So that means we're not moving any relays so we can still have easy access to them. And it's gonna be a lot neater in that corner and not so bulky with the battery tray there. All right, I'll leave it with you. But high hopes. Keep chiseling away. High hopes. <laughs> so I've got my fitting in, the little blanking piece there, I suppose you call it. What do they call it? A bung. The bung is in. So no longer a tube. Jeez, how's it just magically silver now? Yeah, I will admit that this is a second throttle body because the original one, which we didn't like anyway because it was cut, painted the wrong color. Oh, you now. know what the thing is? I just realized. What? That throttle blade has been adjusted to run this car. That's all right. We're going to have to adjust everything anyway because the new throttle. It doesn't matter. It's... We're going to have to get Jake back out. Oh, this one's missing the screw because we've taken the screw to put it in this one. Yes, I have to change it over before I put this in. Anyway, what, what I did, I, I learned my lesson because it was the first time tapping NPT threads. Where is it? I made, I sent the tap too deep. So then the actual, the fitting just went zoop, straight through and just fell through basically. So luckily we had a spare, uh, which is silver, which is good because we're going back to silver. So I've tapped that one. I changed the TPS sensor over because we know that one works. So we've got the, the our old one on this one. So that should be fine. Now I'm ready to bolt it on. But now that I've seen that, I need to, I, I, I need to do this first now. Good, good call. You're right. But damn! Look how much better it's looking. Yeah, but to the people that have been watching all this episode, they're going, they did nothing. Nothing's changed. Yeah, it's we, exactly the same. Yeah, I know, but it's the little things. Today is like a um, problem solving day mm. where we're looking at all the problems that we're going to have and we're trying to come up with solutions. So, so, so far, we've solved none. We've just created more problems. But that's also what, me, but yeah. <laughs> that's what today was supposed to be. Mm. But we're getting there, I think. How much better does that look without the pipe sticking out the top? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> that's what you spent an hour doing. <laughs> well, because I did it twice. <laughs> it does look better, actually. Oh, I wonder if we should close the bonnet, too. Probably a good idea. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> Why? Why, Ford? Why design an oval throttle body? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so how's that going to go to your oh. intercooler pipe now? No, nah, I'll just see how that's a 90. Yeah. I'll make that a straight. And then I'll snake it up. We've got, we got heaps of intercooler piping that we can cut up. None of this is used. Actually, no, that is. That little whoop dee whoop -dee. would be perfect, actually. Damn, that looks good. He's getting excited now. I am, because I'm seeing the light now. All right. That looks like a cool engine bay now. And you know what? The gold looks sick. Yeah, the gold, the gold does look good now. Good work, man. It's been a big day. It's been a big, big half day. That looks delicious. That's a, that's a good combo. Looks like it goes fast. <laughs> looks like it goes fast. I go away for one weekend. <sighs> what have you been doing? All right, I've done a lot. So. Michael went away for the weekend and I thought I've pulled this car apart a bit too much and I need to get it back together. So what I have done is, let's start over this corner, is as you know, I spent a long time cutting out the battery tray. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously something needed to be made to get this corner back to how it was. So this is what I made. I created this plate here um, and every, all the uh, relays are still up under there. They're all bracketed up under the, the coolant tank. Everything is still there. These uh, terminal points are up under there now. And I've kind of just touched up the corner, painted the corner. Um, the color match is, it's a little more reddy than purple, but. I reckon it looks all right. It's good enough for now. Yeah. When this motor comes out again, all that shit's gonna be gone and it'll be a lot better. But it's, it's good enough for now. I didn't pick it when I rocked up and I saw it here. I didn't really even realize he'd done it because it looks nearly factory. That took me like a day to make that bracket. And then I painted <laughs> it, I put like six coats on it. And then I cut and polished it this morning. <laughs> Who cut and polished it? Yeah, so like, there's a lot of work in that, in that <laughs> mouth. <clears throat> oh God, if that gets scratched, you'll die. 
So that's all like kind of neater. But the biggest thing is AC is now over there on the ground. There's no AC anymore. So I ripped the com AC completely out, which turns out there was no gas in it anyway. Um, <laughs> and there is now a delete pulley uh, from TI Performance, the stainless bracket. That's bolted up. So I did that. I've fitted the radiator temporarily. I just thought, you know what, might as well have a look at it, play around with it. Um, and it actually fits bang on. So uh, it's actually sitting on the rubber mounts. It's not hitting anything. The only thing I did have to make was 15 mil spaces to go behind here where it screws in. And I started working on the catch can, which what I'm, what I'm doing today still. So I ordered this through TI Performance uh, and everything else, obviously. Uh, they have a range of sizes and I just winged it and went for this one <laughs> and it works. So that was a good wing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that'll fit. So yeah, now that fits in there nicely and especially with no AC lines. So getting rid of the AC has given us a big bonus. But now that everything's out of the way, it is so much better. It it's does still look messy, better. like it still drives me mental, but it's better. Yeah. Intake manifold still needs to be sorted. We got all our fittings from Raceworks and TI Performance. I'm, I can put this side back together now. Yep. Um, I got to empty out the cooler piping because I'm pretty sure I dropped a bolt down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I've been messing around a lot. But look, look how good it looks. It does look I, really good. I even painted the head of the bolts. I got happy with the can, like really happy with the can. Who would have guessed it? I even painted this plastic thing and buffed it this morning. Oh, is that plastic? <laughs> I thought it's steel. Nah, it's plastic. <laughs> it painted really well over it. I thought it was steel. I was nah, like, wow, it's... okay. I just had it, right? I scotch brighted it and I was like, hey, if it bubbles up, I'll just sand it back and ch -ch 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 put four coats on and then I buffed it this morning. Four I coats. It this morning. Four coats? Well, you weren't here to tell me no. <laughs> yeah, no, this is what happens when I leave him unsupervised. One, he paints everything. And two, he pulled out the aircon. <laughs> After all the debating about, are we going to keep aircon? No, we're going to keep aircon. As soon as I go away for a weekend, he's like, aircon's gone. <laughs> You got here all right this is all of the barbs for all our vacuum lines and boost gauge and our line that goes to the fuel reg as well there's a fair bit here yeah there's a few there's a bit to tap in and the biggest one is the air temp sensor so the main one that we need to tap is this one this is the i'm pretty sure it's the air temp sensor for the uh, ecu so this is the biggest one that we're going to need to tap i'm hoping we have a tap this size and a drill bit this size, actually, come to think of it. Because it's pretty big. So I need to find that. That's big. I don't know if we got a drill bit that size. That's 16 mil. I don't have a drill bit that size. So I found out what this is using our throat identifier kit. Honestly, this is the most useful thing that we've got in this workshop, I reckon. Turns out that it is a 38-18 NPT, which is great because we don't have a tap that size. So I'll have to run down to the shops and grab myself a tap to be able to do that one. So I'll leave that for now, and I'll just basically tap everything else, I think, because I'm pretty sure we've got taps for the others. So we'll put that back, and I'll figure out the others, and get tapping. Yeah. Oh, I think I'll have to separate it. So I've got to undo 11 million screws again. Well, we've got three fittings to go in here. Then we have three fittings that we need to put at the back here, and then a brake booster fitting as well, too, somewhere. So Nathan was telling me too, he reckons now that the condenser's been removed, sorry, the compressor's been removed, we can get to our coil packs a lot easier and... Yes, I believe you, we can. <laughs> and you can actually like see, because now the top half isn't there. Yeah, can you see my hand? Hi. <laughs> you can actually see what you're doing now. That proves that we can get in there. So we're gonna leave them there. I mean, they haven't died yet, so we're hoping that they're not gonna die. So we have, yeah, boost reference for the map sensor. And we have the boost reference for the fuel reg now. At the back here, we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do. We were talking about like running a vacuum block. We're still not sure whether we're gonna do that because we kind of want to clean this up. We're close, but we're not close. We're close, but we're not close. But it's been a very successful day. Days, days. <laughs> yeah, this episode's been over like three days. days this now. is over, yeah, like four days. But that's it, we're getting close. I mean, it looks better now that this corner's all done and back together. 
We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting close. That's it for this episode though. We need to order more stuff. It's a bit of a bitzer. Yeah, we need to order more stuff. If you like what you're watching on the Fairlane or any other projects that you've been watching, make sure to like, subscribe. And also don't forget to check out Burson Garage. The link is in the description. You know, sign up, put your car on there and you get some good deals. But that is it for now. We need more parts and we need more time. <laughs> That's it for this one. How's that going for you? Good. You cruising along? Yeah. Nice. See what you did there? Nice. Very well done. It's a big bit of kit. Mm. How'd you get those ones in there? Oh, you didn't do them up. The finger top. <laughs> <laughs> so you still got to do them up. <laughs> I didn't get that. The flute. It actually looks like one. It does. <laughs> I was wondering before why my roll of tape had become overlized and now I found out why. Nathan's been using it as a spacer for the Look, radiator. Uh, it was hard to do it on your own, so I need to hold it there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of fuel in the ground in the minute, so let me know how you go with that. <laughs> how much fuel? A fair bit. How easy is it to ignite? E85. Yeah. I don't know, you tell me. I'll tell you in a sec. <laughs> I'll stand over here when you do the first cut. I'll let you know we're going to catch the fire. Mark, that, one. <laughs> that side? That one doesn't work. That side? Emergency exits are there. There. <laughs> and you need to buckle your seatbelt. Just so you know, that fire extinguisher is empty. Empty? Yeah, don't ask me why. When did you use it? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't got a word of the day. What are we going to do for word of the day? I don't know. Gold. That's literally what I was just looking at. Gold? Because I could see I could see all that gold. <laughs> gold everything. I reckon gold. Word of the day, gold. Anybody who comments gold in the comments below, two lucky people will get a sticker pack from us. 